Here is a detailed demonstration of how I'm going to use the Behringer's Xenix Q802 USB mixer using my microphone for my vocals, which is that one there. And I've got my headphones connected, as well as the zero latency trick using the RCA connections and the button positions. If you haven't watched my video of how this RCA connection works and in all detail I will leave the link in the description you can watch that and understand why that is and I've got a USB connection that's connected to my laptop and I am running Presonus Studio One version 5 Prime the free DAW edition I have a backing track which we're gonna hear later on and I'm gonna record one or maybe two vocal tracks as to demonstrate how we can record with zero latency and dry vocal signals while we are listening to the backing track. The only other thing I have connection here is my control room jack outputs, these connections here, and that actually is the end of the cable which is my 3.5 stereo jack. And this jack is going to be plugged at the back of my video camera. And because the control room output is the same as the headphone output, that means whatever you hear when I'm doing the recording is exactly what I'm hearing on my headphones. So this will give you a, a direct an idea of what you should be hearing on your headphones when you're doing the same recording. So what you are going to be hearing from now on is uh, a connection from my mixer control room output directly into the camera so the microphone you're hearing now is exactly what i'm hearing in my headphones and the playback from my studio one uh, version 5 prime edition as you see on the screen is also fed into the mixer obviously so uh, i do have a track um, a backing track that I've added, the song Sway from Dean Martin. That's one of my favorite artists. And I'm going to sing uh, the first verse of the song and then show you how I'm going to be recording it. And then I'm going to try to do a second vocal, maybe harmony, if I can, to demonstrate that how you can listen back to what you've just recorded and record another track on top. Of course, you can add more into it. You can add a second um, vocalist or you can add a different instrument like your acoustic guitar uh, through a microphone or uh, another gu electric guitar through your guitar pedal. You know, uh, it's limitless. So uh, hopefully this will help you to understand what the connections are. Now on my mixer, as I have, have you seen, all I have is a microphone, everything is flat and you can see that I can increase the bass of my vocal. I can also increase the sibilance if I uh, need to and I can add a little bit of compression and everything else is pretty much, all the other channels are turned off. My uh, sort of the main mix level, is that a level where I can adjust making sure that uh, the signal going to my uh, recording software, in this case uh, the, the DAW Studio One, is a right level because that is important. Now my channel fader is right and zero and then I've got my main mix uh, turned down. And if we want to find out the levels we can go to the inputs and we can actually see how loud the signals are. Looks like I had a little bit of loudness there. Just going to increase that. So as you can see, as I'm talking normally, it's down to about 15, 16 uh, dB. And obviously when I start singing, I might get a little bit louder. So that's still going to give me about minus 12 dB of, uh, you know, peak signal uh, going through. And of course, we can switch the pan on the mixer and we can go to the left. As you can see, even on the screen, we've got left and we've got right. Now, so, but in the middle, we get both left and right, the same signal coming through. And even though we're going to record a mono signal, we can select the left or the right, which we will see in just a moment. The one thing I normally like to do uh, with the recording is, um, let's just open up our 
uh, input section. Here I'm going to insert channel strip and then I'm going to turn the compressor off and I'm going to turn the expand off maybe about 75, uh, yeah, about 80% maybe. And I can also turn the 40 hertz. I don't want any more than uh, probably uh, maybe about 60 hertz or so just to get rid of uh, low uh, rumbling noises that might be coming from the microphone. And what this does is that it applies before it gets recorded. So it will cut off the frequencies below 70 hertz and, and the expand will work cutting off any background sound between my verses and, uh, and, and the lines. So we get nice and clean audio going in already. And I normally don't do EQing here because you can EQ to your heart's content later on. You don't want to alter the sound um, of the microphone going in because you can't really um, change it later on if you stuff it up. Other than that, uh, that's sort of that's a, a trick you can actually do. And we will find out how clean that will be uh, later on as well. So you can uh, do that. So let's add a new channel. Uh, I should also mention that this video is unscripted, so you might find me uh, s uh, saying a few words here and there. Um, and I'm selecting the left input because it's a mono uh, track, one microphone, so mono is, is good enough. And just to check my input and output as well, you can see I'm just using ASIO for all driver for it, and I have my main stereo left and right, left and right. Of course, you can rename this into, let's say, input um, one um, or input two. But because you are working on for um, left and right at all times, because you could be using other channels, recording left and right is a, is a good idea to uh, keep it as is. And for the output, you know, you got just the main output that's going. So let's have a quick listen uh, of the backing track and I can adjust the levels. singing okay this is a very comfortable level so that's a very comfortable level that I can sing um, so let's arm for recording and uh, let's uh, give it a Okay, I think uh, that's a good take. Let's have a quick uh, listen. As you can see, I've got uh, take one. When the mumbo rhythm starts to play, dance with me, make me sway. Okay, remember I showed you about the channel strip? Let's have a listen how clean it sounds. Just going to solo my vocal when I'm not actually talking or singing. And I'm going to turn my microphone off as well so it doesn't distract. Okay, so let's have a listen. When the mumbo rhythm starts to play, dance with me, make me sway. Like the lazy ocean hugs the shore, hold me close. 
sway me more. Right. See how uh, clean that was? That's only because the expander is working and reducing the volume whenever there's no sound coming from the microphone. So that cleans out your vocals already. So uh, let us uh, let's me see if I can be able to uh, try to uh, harmonize. Of course, I haven't done this before. This is non-scripted. Uh, let me give it a try. When the mumbo rhythm starts to play Dance with me, make me sway like the lazy ocean hugs the shore Hold me close, sway me more Like the... Okay, that will work. It's close enough. So let's add a new track. Let's call it vocal 2. When the mumbo rhythm starts to play Dance with me, make me sway Like the lazy ocean hugs the shore Hold me close, sway me more Like the flower bending in the breeze Dance with me, sway with ease When you dance you have a way with me Slay with me, sway with me Okay, that's, uh, I think, good enough. Let's have a quick listen. Make me sway Like the lazy ocean hugs the shore Hold me close, sway me more Like the flower bending in the breeze Okay, so we've done now two takes, and as you can hear, my both vocals are dry, even though we can hear in our headphones both the music and any other backing track that's playing back. Just to finish things off, let's add uh, an effects channel. And uh, let me see, we've got Mix Verb as our free um, reverb from Studio One. Um, and let's see, what can we select? Um, just to make it the sort of uh, thing, I'm just going to select large hole and just increase the pre-delay a little bit, about 70. Because it's a large hole, you need some pre-delay so the words comes out. And let's select, let's open up, let's our send, send into our effects one and our main vocal. Send it as well. Of course, we need to adjust the uh, levels. Let's have a quick uh, listen. When the mumbo rhythm starts to play, dance with me, make me sway. Like the lazy ocean hugs the shore, hold me close, sway me more. Like the flower bending in the breeze, dance with me. Way we is when you dance, you have a way with me. Stay with me, sway with me. Other dancers may be on the floor. Of course, we can also add a delay if we like, or any other effects, and we can add channel strips on our vocals if we think we need to adjust our EQ a little bit and add a little bit more compression. Even though I did use a little bit of compression on the way in on the mixer. Um, so that will help balance things out as well. So the rest is easy. So that's how easy it is to record a song uh, multi-track with zero latency, with the zero latency trick that I've shown you in my previous video. And where you go. Uh, I hope uh, this explains. And if you do have any further questions uh, in regards to anything that I have shown you here, feel free to ask me in the comment section below and I'll try to answer as much as I can. If there's something that I missed, I'll do another video if I need to, to explain it uh, further. But those are the tricks. Of course, you saw a trick in the input section as well that you can use to manipulate the audio on the way in. And of course, if you um, do end up uh, purchasing the Pro um, plugin bundle, uh, 
um, which is, I think it's quite cheap. It will expand your Studio One Prime, uh, version 5 Prime edition to the next level. Um, although you're still limited with no plugins, no VST plugins, but but having a compressor, EQ and limiter in there, you can, you, you're pretty much ready to go. So I hope this helped you out. If it did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Till next time, cheerio guys. Dear, but my eyes will see only you. Only you have that magic technique. When we sway, I go in. I can hear the sounds of violins long before it begins. Make me thrill as only you know how. Sway me smooth, sway me now. <laughs>